Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing my sister's 24th birthday makeup look. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to be starting off with the Juvia Play Saharan 2 palette and using the color Yodi on my BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush. I'm placing that in the crease area and buffing it out um, just to make sure that I have a nice transition color to start off with. I also forgot to mention that I'm using the color Jamata from the same palette. It's underneath the dark brown color that's called Walsana. And I'm just mixing a tiny little bit of that with the Yodi so that I get a little bit of a warmer hue on the crease area. Now I'm grabbing the color Walsana and I'm going to be using one of my MSQ brushes. It's a flatter brush and it's perfect to put colors underneath the transition shade. So that's what I'm doing and I'm just going to be blending that out and making sure that the two colors are seamless and that I don't get um, a Line of the, a line of demarcation. I was actually hoping that at this point the colors that I placed weren't going to show up this dark but it's okay because I ended up covering it with the cut piece that I'm doing at the moment and I'm actually using my um, Sigma pointed brush and my Colourpop white concealer and I'm just doing the same thing I usually do on my eyes. I'm just starting from the inner corner of her eye working my way outwards and just making sure that the color stays down pat and that um, it starts drying up because I don't want to um, have a wet mess on her her eyes so that's what I'm doing and I'm just gonna be making sure that um, she feels comfortable and that the cut crease are the same size on both eyes Alright, so now I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm grabbing that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronze golden shade called Casablanca and it's at the um, bottom of the palette and I'm just using my Sigma flat brush and I'm going to be placing that all over the cut crease part and just making sure that the golden part doesn't go onto the transition shade because it just ends up making it look messy and unfinished. Disregard the fact that you can see it all up in my sister's nose. I'm just really happy. I don't see no boogies or nothing. She was falling asleep for some odd reason throughout the video, I guess because it's relaxing. But um, I was also pulling her head back to do her cut crease and also to do a couple other things. But yeah, don't mind that. Um, and for the meantime, just focus on the fact that I'm coloring in her cut crease. So now I'm going to go back in with the color Waltzana on the MSQ brush that was flat and I'm going to be blending out the edges of the cut crease with the other colors that are in the background. Now I'm just doing her eyeliner. You guys have, to, have seen me do this um, in my past videos. I'm just starting it from the inner corner of her eye and working my way out to make a beautiful wing. It's really nothing to it um, and I'm just making sure that it looks the right way and it's not crooked. So I didn't show the clip where I put um, her eyelashes in but I actually got these from the beauty supply store and they're true mink lashes and they were only $5.99. So if you guys want um, a good pair of lashes and don't want to spend like $30 on one pair, definitely go hit up your um, beauty supply store. Just make sure they don't look like the cheap, cheap ones. Like they're supposed to look airy and fluffy and have a lot of hairs on them. So that's what I'm putting on her eyes. I did use um, the bootleg um, cheap beauty supply store glue, which I kind of got bit in the butt for it because it kept falling off. But as long as you put a good amount, it's going to stay on for the rest of the night. 
As a primer, I'm using, as usual, my Nivea Soft Cream um, Lotion, and I'm just placing a good amount of that all over her face. This stuff is legendary. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on it, but as long as you use this as your primer, you don't need nothing else. At the end of, of the makeup, just put some setting spray and you're done. This lasts all night. I love it so much. If y'all are wondering what my sister is talking about, if y'all see her lips moving a lot, it's because she's talking shit. I've never seen anybody talk so much shit for somebody who's not paying for their whole face of makeup and it turns out beautifully. But she's like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. And I'm like, you don't even know nothing about makeup. But anyway, yeah, so <laughs> if y'all are wondering what she's talking about, she's just talking a lot of shit. So now I'm using my favorite, 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 favorite foundation, the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation, which is apparently her favorite as well now. And it's in the shade 4.2, and I'm just going to be spreading that all over her face. Um, and I'm going to be using my Black Beauty Blender, of course, and just making sure that her skin looks blended out. And you're going to see as I'm blending it out how beautiful the finish is. I just love the Black Beauty Blender. It's better than the pink. I swear by it, it's just my favorite, even though I have a couple other beauty blenders that I love, but the original Black Beauty Blender, nothing can top it. Just like my last video, I'm going to be using the NYX um, Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in the shade 16. It didn't give me the brightness that I wanted under her eye, but I think it's because I didn't let it set a little bit and that's what happens with this um, concealer. You need to let it set before blending it out. But whatever, um, I was going for a little bit of a natural look on her face anyway, even though I did put on quite a bit of foundation. As you can tell by her left eye, um, the eyelash started peeling off. That's why I was telling you guys that I got the cheap um, eyelash glue and just don't do that. Get the good dual lash glue. I just, I don't know, I didn't find it. I should have gone to Ulta rather than my beauty supply store for that, but that's what I did anyway. And I ended up fixing it off camera with a lot more glue. So um, yeah, that ended up being fixed, but just to avoid that, make sure you stick with the brand name ones instead. Anyway, I'm going to be using the contour side of the foundation stick that I showed you guys a couple seconds ago and I'm going to be placing um, it on her forehead underneath the apples of her cheeks on her chin and just making sure that I'm using the side of the beauty blender in order to make sure that it's blending out with the foundation I'm also going to go over that with the foundation just to make sure that I'm getting a nice contour rather than um, a stark different color between her skin color and the contour shade itself Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the video so far and the makeup look itself. Um, but right now I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to be using the Sigma fluffy brush. It's supposed to be meant for rouge um, or blush but I decided to use this for it instead. I think it's the perfect shape for underneath the eye. And I'm not going to let the Laura Mercier set underneath her eyes just to make sure she doesn't get any flashback and that it doesn't look dry. Lastly, I'm going to be using my ABH um, bronzer powder in the shade Mahogany to set the contour places and making sure that that powder doesn't go into the Laura Mercier powder. Just make sure that there's a clear line of difference between the two because you don't want the makeup look to end up looking messy. The last thing I ended up doing was using the Juvia's Place Royalty 2 highlighter and I put it on the apples of her cheeks. I ended up not being able to upload that video because I thought it was filming but it wasn't and I ran out of space in my SD card. So I'm going to be investing in a 128 gig SD card instead. But um, I'm also going to be placing um, some pictures and a video at the end of the video so stick around for that and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and this is basically the end of the video everyone thank you so much for watching i will see you next time